what's going on people it's your boy Eddie Jarrow back in the car and we're lit yes so today we're gonna play a little game for this video yes and this game will give you the chance to get to know me better whether you know me personally or not this is the chance for you to find out some secrets you might have not known about me we're gonna play this game called never ever ever I'm just gonna ask myself a few questions and I have to answer these questions along with the story if I say I have that's the whole point of this game. I mean, we've got a few questions. I'm not trying to make the video too long, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try to keep up with the time because when I'm making a video, I notice that I lose track of time. So this time, I'm really gonna try to be on point with it. I don't wanna take your ears off. I'm just gonna go ahead with the game and start off with the first question. So you got the first question here. I already seen the first question. I don't know what the next question is though. I didn't spoil myself like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the first question. Never have I ever use the bathroom in complete darkness uh i have yes i have the reason why i have and i still do to this day is because sometimes i just can't be asked you know when you go to the toilet quick you don't even have the time to you have the time it's like you know what i'm saying you're just lazy you know when you're home you get lazy to do a lot of things like wash your hands when you finish taking a piss but don't get me wrong though like when i wash my hands i wash the two tip of my fingers because that's all i use i literally just grab my dick with the two tips of my fingers so that's all i'm gonna wash it's literally a quick wash just like that and that's it i'm done because i'm too lazy to wash my whole hand i didn't even grab my penis with my full with my whole hand you know what i'm saying like it's not like i went and grabbed my whole penis no i didn't i just grabbed it like that you know what i'm saying when our penises are not hard yeah it's a little baby penis, it's like this tiny, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you need to grab the whole thing like that, it's not like it's hard, you know? Sometimes you do get hard when you go for a pee, sometimes you don't. So when you don't, and when you have this little tiny baby squ squirrel, <laughs> this is what you need to do, like just grab it with the two tips of your finger. So yeah, like, there's been times where I just went to the toilet in the dark, cause I couldn't be asked, I was too lazy to turn the lights on. I still do it to this day. Never have I ever been shook, 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 right? Yes, shook by electricity. Shocked, shook, shocked, and shook by electricity. Oh uh, shit, that's a risky one, but I don't think I have. If you're talking about them fucking baby electricities that you get from, you know, touching someone else at random times. You know when you're at the shopping center, bruv, like, not just at the shopping center anyway, but it happens mostly at shopping centers when you just touch you know the fucking the fucking stairs or you touch someone by accident yeah there's been times where it actually happened like just random ones like that i don't even know where they come from but you just get it from other people from touching random things don't make no sense no no deep on like that no let's go to the next question never have i ever thrown up because someone else threw up nah never done that never done that might have lost my appetite many times from seeing someone throwing up. Do you know how much of a bad luck you have to have to actually witness someone throwing up while you're eating? That's the worst time, bruv, that can possibly happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're eating and then someone all of a sudden throws up. But nah, I've never really threw up because someone threw up. Nah, I've never done that. Never have I ever gotten my face stuck between burglar bars. Nah, bro. Imagine that happening to you. That is a mad thing. Nah, but I never really got my face stuck in between bars, if that's what you mean. <laughs> I uh, remember when I was still in school, yeah, I literally bumped a lesson. So I wanted to get out of school. And so I had to jump over the fence, right? Me being the kid that I was at the time, just trying to skip school, and nah, I tried to jump over the fence, nah, and I slipped up. So when I slipped up, yeah, I literally banged balls on top of the fence bit from that shit fucked me up i was so worried i remember being a kid and just overthinking all oh my days i'll never be able to have kids will i even have any sperm left that's all i kept thinking just me being the kid that i have that I was you know what i'm saying i just thought that all my sperms was killed at the time because i hit my balls on the fence for sleeping up yeah so hard that <laughs> I kept overthinking, bro, and I was in bare pain, bro. Bare pain, like literally, that was the worst time that shit has ever happened to me. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say no. I've, I've, uh, I never have got my face stuck in between bars. <laughs> never have I ever peed in a bottle. What the fuck? I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, when I was younger, someone tried to trick me into drinking this bottle that had pee in it. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, I might have sniffed it a bit. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed, I actually grabbed the bottle, you know, and for a second, they thought I was gonna drink that shit. You know, like for some reason, something just told me, don't drink it. You know what I'm saying? Don't drink it, I didn't drink it. But I feel like that was the closest time to drinking the bottle with pee, which I didn't, yeah? I literally grabbed the bottle and I sniffed their bed and then I just didn't do it. Oh my days, like, careful kids, man. Be careful, because some kids do some stupid shit. If in my time they did that kind of stupid shit, imagine now, they probably do a lot worse, so just watch out. Watch out for them kind of kids that do retarded shit like that. Pee in bottle and then give it to you, to making you think that it's juice. Nah, but I never peed in a bottle, but a lot of people at like my job, they do pee in bottles, because my job requires, you know, working on the streets, right? You spend most of your time out on the street, so you don't really have the time to stop and to pee, you know, like, but they actually pee in bottles. Not only they pee in a bottle, but they keep the bottle that they peed in in a fucking van, bruv. Like, that's what I don't understand. Why would you do that? Like, people at work and my job do that. I don't do that shit. I'm not going to do that. Like, I remember on my training day, they tried to tell me to do that. Like, they told me, oh, no, you might find it disgusting now, but you're going to end up doing it. Bro, I, I've been there for two months. I, I've not done it once and I'm not gonna do it. I literally, I find a spot. Like, even if my bladder is full, I find, I always end up finding a spot to pee. But peeing in the bottle, fuck that. At least dash the bottle. You can pee in the bottle, but dash the bottle for Christ's sake. Don't keep in a fucking van. You know what I'm saying? So you can pee more in it. Like, that, that don't make no sense. But nah, no, I never peed in a fucking bottle and I will never do it. Like, no, next question. I'm gonna try and make this one the last question because I don't want the video to be too long. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to upload it on time. Never have I ever tried to discreetly peek a wedgie in public. I'm just gonna have to say I have. Yeah, I have. It was just one of them times where I had no undies, yeah? Like a whole minute. Like these times I had finished taking a shower and I had run out of undies. I had no underwear to wear, right? And I didn't want to just go out without wearing any, any underwears, right? So the only underwears left that I had in my drawer was fucking, you know, small sized underwears that I had bought once by mistake, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even look at the size, nothing. I just grabbed those underwears, you know what I mean? And, you know, I bought them like that without even, you know, checking the size. So, obviously, I didn't want to just stash them. I had to keep them. So, that day, that one day when I had to finish taking a shower, I had no choice but to wear those small sized underwears that didn't fit me at all. So, the whole time when I went out, those underwears just kept going up my bum, bruv. You know what I'm saying? And you know what it's like, and like when when you wear a small size underwear that doesn't even fit you and it goes up your bum, you have to keep sticking it out every fucking time, bruv. Cause it makes it look like you're wearing a fucking thong, bruv. It feels like you're wearing a thong, bruv. It's fucking ridiculous. Like a lot of girls probably wear underwears that don't even, you know, fit them, you know, like small size underwear, especially the ones with the big bums, because you look sexy on them. Fair enough. If you got a big bum, you're gonna wear a small size underwear on purpose. Bro, oh, it, it's just search. I'm a man at the end of the day. I don't think I should be wearing a small sized underwear, you know what I'm saying? And then pick a fucking wedgie because it keeps feeling like I'm wearing a fucking thong, you know? And it's fucked up because whenever you pick a wedgie, you have to keep looking back and shit, bruv. Just weird, like. So yeah, man, uh, I have, man. And it's just fucking awkward, man. You know, like, just having to keep looking back to make sure nobody's watching you and pick a wedgie because the fucking underwear that you're wearing is just making you feel like you're wearing a thong. Okay, this is the last question because the video's gone on for too long now and I don't want to long this off. Uh, never have I ever tasted cat food. Fuck that. Uh-uh, nah. I tricked someone into thinking that I was going to eat cat food, but no, I've never done, never done that. Imagine actually eating cat food like cereal, bruv. Like, you put some milk into it and you eat it like that. You got this type of cat food that looks like cereal. You know what I'm saying? Imagine eating that shit with milk. Ugh, that's disgusting. But I've never done that. I've smelled it and it smells weird. I don't like it. Ah. Uh, Nah, I've never done that. So yeah, man, I mean, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that gave you a chance to get to know me a bit better in a way. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And just continue to show love, man. Because I'm going to be bringing you more. So yeah, man, this is it for the video. And I'll catch you next time in a bit.